This video will show you how to install the C version of Mutual Core 2.2.1 on Windows. And then I'll show you how to compile the sample code provided by DeepMind and also provide you with a template which you can modify to suit your own purposes, that is to write your own code. If this handout would be available on my GitHub account, it will be linked in this YouTube video. So first you'll start with installing Mujoko and loading a model file. For that, you need to go to github.com deepmind forward slash Mujoko releases. I already have that open here. Uh, navigate down, find the package for uh, Windows 64 bit, which would be uh, this one. So double click that, download that file, unzip it. Once you unzip it, you'll have a, a folder which looks like this. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll navigate to the bin folder and double click on simulate. This is the bin folder. Uh, double click simulate. And so you see this opens up. This is the graphical user interface which can be used to modify model files. Then what we'll do is we'll go to the model folder, pick a model, in this case will be the humanoid model, and then drag and drop it onto this GUI. So navigate back to Mujoko folder, go to model, go to humanoid. And then the way this works is you uh, click humanoid, uh, hold it on, and then move it and drop it to the GUI. So if, if you got this working, then you have you can basically view a model. Next, I'm going to show you how to how to compile C programs provided by DeepMind. Okay, where this these programs are basically sitting in this folder called sample, uh, basic.cc, compile.cc, and so on. Uh, now this assumes that you already did step one, A1, and you already have this uh, installer available on your computer. You can I put it in the desktop, but you can put it anywhere else, like for example, documents. Now for, for running these examples or running this uh, programs, you need the Visual Studio installer. So this is provided in this link. So click on that link. Once you get the Visual Studio installer, uh, it has downloaded, you can double click it. When prompted, it'll ask you these uh, five options in that you click desktop development with C++ and install it, it'll take some time. Assuming that you've done all that and installed uh, Visual C++, we can now proceed to uh, get the DeepMind files working. Now, before you do that, you just need to do one more thing though, which is you need to download GLFW. So this is the web link, um, github.com GLFW uh, forward slash GLFW forward slash releases. If you go to that web page, you will get something like this. Uh, in this case, the latest version of GLFW is 3.3.8. So download the one which is for your machine, Windows 64. Download that, unzip it. Once you do that, uh, it would look something like this. Now, what we need to do is we need to take a few files from here and drop them into this Mujoko folder. And those are instructions which are provided here. In particular, we have to do three things. We need to co copy the entire include GLFW and put it in Mujoko into GLFW. So I'll do that first step now. So we have GLFW, go to include, right click this, copy, go to include folder here, and then uh, paste it. The next step is we need to get this file, glfw 3 dllive and then put it in Mujoko live JLF3, JLFW3 DLL.live. So let's go to uh, pick that up from JLFW. So here you see that there are a bunch of options, VC 2012, 2013, and so on. Since we installed the VC 2022 option, we click on that, then get the JLF3, JLFW3 DLL.live, copy that, and then go back to Mujoko. Here we need to, as I said, go to the live folder, so go to live, and then paste it. So the last step is again go back to the uh, JLFW and then find JLFW3.dll and then paste it in the bin folder. So let's go here. Uh, it's the same place, VC2022, like this, copy that. 
and then we need to go in the bin folder and drop it in. Okay, now we have got the required rendering files that are GNF view. We go to the next step. Now, in order to run the make file, which is a standard way of generating C files or executable files, which are based on C or C++, we need to go through the command shell. Now, if you go to CMD and run this, it will not work. You need a special shell. This is for, this is the shell for Visual Studio X64 native tools. You can find them in the following way. You can go here and then type here x64 native tools. Now, if you have not installed Visual Studio, you see that you do not have this available. So you need to go back to our step and then download. If you click that, it looks very similar to the CMD, but it's uh, slightly uh, different because it's a different shell. Now, I already have this uh, here, which is a little bit better because I have changed the font size. So it's easier to see in the studio. Okay, I also have put the instructions in this screenshot, you can, you can view that. This is when you type in here on the left side, you should, uh, Visual Studio, you should see these options and you just use X64 native tools. Uh, and once we have opened the shell, uh, we need to navigate to the sample folder through the shell. So the, sam remember the, sample, fo the sample folder is again the Visual Code distributions and we are in a different path. So it is CD forward slash, uh, then we do CD users, um, and then Mujoko is installed on the desktop. desktop. CD, Mujoko. Okay. And now I am right here, and then I need to go to the sample folder. So I do CD. Okay. Now, once I'm in the C uh, sample folder, I need to type make. What this does is basically uh, runs this file make. Uh, now, sometimes make, I'll do make. And then you can see that it's doing something. It's actually uh, compiling all the CC files and generating executables. Now, sometimes this may not work on your computer, in which case you can type n make and it should work fine. Okay, so a, use either n make or make. If make doesn't work, use n make. It should probably work. So what it has done here is it actually has gone to the bin, it actually compiled the files and put them in the bin folder. So if you look at the bin folder, uh, these files were now generated just some time back. So on, you can see the date here and then see that this was gen just generated uh, a few minutes ago. Okay. So again, if you want to run these files, you go one level down to bin and then type uh, simulate, which is the same file I double clicked. Sorry, it should be simulate. And then you can do the same thing, which is go to the model folder. And then up. it all works fine. Okay, so that completes part B. Now let's go to part C. What if you want to write your own programs in? Um, in, and, and play them in, in Mujoko. How do you do that? What I've done is to make life easy is I've created a template folder. Okay, so this template is something which you take each time you want to make a new program, uh, copy in a special place, and then you, all the instructions are in this template program. So you, all you have to do is run one line in CMD and it will basically do everything for you. That is compile it and then execute it. As opposed to what we've done here, which is we did in two steps. We did mean went to sample folder, did make, and then we went to bin folder and then executed. So this is how you do it. Uh, take this folder, it has a few files. Copy that. Uh, go to your Mujoko folder, create a new project. Okay. So what we'll do is all your code will be sitting here. So each time you copy this template, you put it in the My Project folder, and then rename it to whatever you want to call. So in this case, I just call it a uh, template, but you can call it pendulum or car or whatever you want. So we are, we've downloaded it, we've uh, 
create the my project we have unzipped the file now we need to do uh, one thing which is um, we need to take two dlls and put in the systems files because they are needed uh, for this program to render and run properly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take two dlls and these dlls are something that one of the dll had copied it's in the bin folder so go to the bin folder copy these to dll glfw3 user 4 dll and now go to c drive go to windows go to system 32 And right here, anywhere, you can just uh, paste them. So I've already done this in the past, but I just want to replace the files. Okay, so for example, we just put DLL is now here. And it was uh, generated, it was just copied to the system. Okay. So we did that. Now we are all set to run our program. So let's go back to this folder. Uh, what I'm going to do is navigate to my project, navigate to template. So cd dot cd dot dot cd my project cd template. Okay. Now you could run to make so make, and then it it successfully ran because there's no error. And then you'll see that it created this executed called main. Now you can type main, and then you see the same. You see a block falling down, which means that we've successfully uh, been able to run this program. Uh, but we had to do write two commands. We had to write make and then do main to run the executable. So what I've done is I created this back file. It builds us make or n make and then run main. And all you need to do now is just run run win and it will work fine. So to convince you that I'm going to delete these files, delete the object file, keep it to the side, and then do run win. So you see that there are these five files here. And the moment I run this, I see the animation. And then right here, I have uh, the new main file and main object files. So this is how you will, uh, Write your own program that is copy this template and then modify the code which is in the c file main.c to suit your purpose.